You looking dangerous. I want you in a Sabia. We could be making crazy love. Whole world gonna be hating us. Cause I'm feeling on your body, adi, adi. Oh, your body, adi, adi. Cause I'm finally over here. Finally, finally get to meet you guys. I'm excited about the work. But listen, Eric, I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you. First of all, what can I have for you to drink again? What did you want to drink? Let's get you some drink, because mine's on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool, whatever. You know you wanted vodka, right? So okay, cool. Yeah, to me, I think, um, you know, having my supporters and, you know, giving them new music and for them to, you know, be able to tell a friend about, you know, what I'm doing. I think that's a gift alone for them to listen. Cause you could be listening to anybody. It's a, it's a lot of incredible artists out there. And, you know, to go to my SoundCloud, to take, you know what I'm saying, your headphones and your iPod and load up my music when you're in the gym. I think that's special. So I really appreciate that. It could be anybody, but y'all chose me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> holding it down, feel me, feel me. But listen, uh, there's something else that you did to fans. On April Fools. <laughs> we have been waiting for this album from you, Eric, and you break our hearts like that with a joke on April Fools. First off, I apologize. I've just I've been working on it, right? The project is actually done. The project has been finished since I put out Choose Up Season mixtape. So the album has been done. We've been just you know, making sure to build the awareness of my brand as a whole, of me as an artist. You know, a lot of people know me as a songwriter, you know what I mean? But for my artistry, I kind of had to start over from ground one. And, you know, and I think the process has been incredible. You know, we've been picking up a lot of different supporters from a lot of different places all around the world. I've been doing shows and the shows have been crazy. And we just don't want to put the project out prematurely. You know what I mean? We want to make sure that we're able to maximize because I think it's my best body of work yet. I want to make sure that it's everybody's waiting to download it. You know what I mean? I think the more my fans are, you know, expecting it, the more they help me tweet about it and let people know, like, yo, cuffing season is coming. Cuffing season is on the way. It'll actually speed up the process. You know what I mean? But yeah, speaking of cuffing season again, we're going back to your first single, Focus yeah. on You, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, featuring Two Chains. Yeah. And it's got the infamous Uchiwali sample on it. How did that record come together and why two chains and stuff? Um, for that, um, Uchiwali had always been one of my favorite songs um, back in the day. I don't know if that was out here, like when people used to crump dance and like yes. clown dance. Yes. That was big out here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so like when it was like popping, yes. Uchiwali was like the song, you know what I mean? So. I just took it, took it back to that moment. You know what I mean? I was always like, yo, I gotta do something with that sample. I gotta do something with that sample. And um, with the success we had from I Don't Wanna, you know, that was the sample from the Crisscross, the Jump Jump record. And um, it, was, it did so well in the club that it was like, it ain't broke, why well, fix it? You know, I wanted to use the same formula and I thought it was a great time to, um, to pull out the Uchi Wally sample. One question. Yeah. Do you make love to your own music? I only make love to my yeah, 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 yeah. I have to I have to test it out. Make sure it's FBA approved. For yeah. y'all, so when I put it out, I already know like yo, turn in number four. One minute and forty-six seconds is You know what I'm saying? Get to number five. You know what I'm saying? Like I think that's 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 the thing. Like I really, really plan ahead. When I'm in the studio, you know what I mean, I like I don't just write like, oh, this is a dope song. Like when I'm writing viral, if I'm not dancing to it like crazy, like I can't stop moving when I'm playing it back, that's not the song. You know what I mean? If the vibe isn't there in the studio, the vibe isn't gonna be there at the club. You know what I mean? So um, while I'm creating these songs, um, I'm just imagining when the listener is gonna be, you know, listening. Like how are they gonna feel? Are they gonna be able to vibe to this? Are they gonna be able to party to this? And if I can't party to this, I don't think they can party to it either. And if I can't make love to it, then they can't make love to it either. So she's never been like, turn it off, I'll listen to Usher. <laughs> no. You know that Drake? You know that Drake? How Yo, you know his Drake. girl's like, I wanna listen to Ludacris, I don't listen to you. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was crazy. How about that? And then, and then Ludacris said that he was actually messing with a chick. Did you hear that? No. He was messing with the same chick from Toronto. 
That's why he took it to heart when he when she wanted to listen to Ludacris instead of him. Did you know? Like, did you guys not hear that? No. <laughs> That's okay. deep, right? <laughs> they were messing with the same chick, but Ludacris didn't know that. Drake, yeah, Drake knew, but Ludacris didn't know. But Drake wasn't Drake, really oh Drake. Drake is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do you do really like what Jake's doing though, right? Yeah, nah, Jake Jake is definitely my favorite artist, you know what I mean? Um he's incredible, you know, from his beat selection, you know, to the mixes, to the different sonics that he uses in the songs, lyrical content, everything. You know what I mean? When he raps and then he just like switches into melody and goes back to rap, I think he's doing something that no one else is doing and it encouraged me to create my own lane and not do what everyone else is doing. Like, I may write this song for that person or this song for that person, but when it's an Eric Bellinger song, I want people to know, like, that's an Eric Bellinger song. Same same about with Drake. Like, you can say, wow, that sounds like a Drake song, or that sounds like a Frank Ocean, or a Miguel, or Adele. You know, I think all the artists that, you know, create their own sound and actually are paving their own way are the artists that are, you know, irreplaceable because, you know, there's, they're the only one in their lane. I know you've never written with Drake or had the chance to pitch him any songs. I've never, I've never worked with Drake, but I've actually written a song um, that he was on. You know, the uh, Justin Bieber right here featuring Drake. So. Um, me and Justin Bieber wrote the song, and then he was like, hey bro, I'm gonna get Drake on it. And I was like, for real? Okay, so Lewis, um, for those of you that don't know, he's like one of the best race car drivers uh, in Formula One. Like, he's like crazy, and he sings as well. So he was like, yo, I want to put together some music, and um, he called in. And me, that's when, you know, like I said, me and Angel met. And uh, we went to his house. His house is like crazy, craziest house you'll ever go to. He has a studio in there, and he just he's dope. You know what I mean? He vibes. He's not one. He's not an artist that's just like, yo, write me a song and I'll sing it. He's like, yo, this is what I want to sing about. This is the story I want to tell. You know what I mean? These are the lyrics. You know, so when we're writing, he's actually in there co-writing as well because he wants to make sure that whatever he sings about is something that comes from his heart as well and just we're just helping him illustrate it. So, and the songs are good, you know, I'm surprised. He hasn't put anything out yet, but <laughs> so the songs are great. So Lewis, how might do a Beyonce on us and just drop an album? Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I name the, the two, the Krepton, I think Krepton Kona, yeah? So we were, um, we actually linked up when they came to LA, they did like the MTV Awards, and um, we were just talking about doing a song, so they recently sent a song over that I think is pretty dope that we might actually link. I think I just met someone that's completely just understanding, you know what I mean? It was always like nagging, and why are you at the studio? And why are you doing that? And like, like, okay, I gotta go. You know what I mean? And so now I got somebody that's just got my back. You know what I mean? Like, go work, encourage me, makes me better, motivates me, you know what I mean? And um, it's just a great feeling because it makes me want to make, you know, more music and the, the, the place where I'm coming from, you know, you got songs like Overrated, you got songs like Focused on You, and you got songs like Text Threads, and all these songs are just love songs, but they're still cool songs that, you know, everybody can vibe to, and I think it comes off in the music, you know what I mean? Every time, wherever I'm at in my life, I think that's the, the songwriter is king, you know, like everyone needs hit song everybody needs a song like no matter what if you're a rapper if you're a singer you know it, it, even if you put out a hit you still need your next one you know what i mean and, and at the time i was writing for so many different artists and i think a combination between my talent and how humble i am and how hard i work you know what i mean it it, it, it just kept things going you know what i mean because the talent would get me in our let's plan it you know we put together a dope um visual a dope idea a dope treatment and it came together incredible Dope, man. Um, yeah, I really love that single. It's really gonna pick up in the clubs. Is it out now on iTunes already? The Fox Stadium. Yeah. yeah okay, so that's out. Um, cuffing season is it out for pre-order yet or not yet? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> okay, so just a single, just to keep. Yeah. yeah just so get the single. Song, just get the single. Songs on birthday gifts. Those are on the album. Oh, oh, those are on the album. Yeah, yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. great. So um, yeah, Vi was definitely Vibe another one yeah. for the clubs. Exactly. Another one. I love the clubs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I really, really appreciate. Um, you coming here accepting my invite. No um, just give it up for Eric Bellinger. Yeah! Yeah! I don't know what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. Yeah. Shake that ass like you're trying to go viral. Move your body like you're trying to go viral. 
Why you for me like you tryna go viral? Viral, viral. 